All right, so the day has come. New chainsaw. Guess I could almost justify this as like a early birthday gift. Um, but anyway, so the history here of the chainsaws. Uh, last year at this time, I got an Echo chainsaw that was supposed to be a replacement for the old uh, McCulloch that's loud and heavy and obnoxious. And when I talked with the uh, the dealer about it, he said, "Oh yeah, you'll love this saw. It's this and that, the other thing. It's just as good as that old Mac." Blah blah blah. Well, it for one didn't have the same uh, pitch chain. Um, it's point three two five instead of uh, three eighths which is annoying, which I didn't really know at the time because I was just using it to cut wood and I wasn't all like, I'm not going to say in the chainsaws, but really didn't care about all the like specs and that type of stuff. So, um, but I did find out over time that that chainsaw just did not cut as fast. It was much, much slower than uh, the McCulloch. So this Echo here is a CS500P. That's the one I bought last year, so it's approximately a year old. And like I said, I did a video on this one, but this has got the uh, .325 uh, pitch chain. Um, it works good for cutting stuff that's pr basically clean wood. Anything with any type of dirt, your day is pretty much over with pretty quick. Oh, this here has got to go to work. Uh, anyway, so this is the saw that I was trying to replace because it's obviously old, heavy, loud, and the bar is kind of short. It's only got a 16-inch bar. Um, I like this saw. It's got a 20-inch bar. I like it starts, it runs, it idles, it does all that stuff a saw is supposed to do, and it's it's light. Um, it, and it's, it's pretty well balanced, too, when you pick it up. Um, they did tell me at the... Uh, true value that I bought it from that oh this is a professional saw you know this is they some sell homeowner saws and this this is a professional line um, I don't know if I completely agree with that it maybe has professional features on this saw uh, this seems like a homeowner saw to me through and through like in the comparison between these two saws obviously this one's a lot older different brand different bar different chain this one feels like something an actual like professional would use Whereas this one feels like someone who's got like a tree they want to take down in their yard or limb out some branches, something like that. One other thing to note about this is uh, this saw also leaks. And you know, it's old. I think it's always leaked from the get-go, but like uh, even when I got through sealing everything, it still leaks uh, bar and chain oil. Uh, I don't know if it's leaking out of the actual uh, under the cover here or if it's just dripping underneath. But that's why I always have like a rug or towel or something underneath it because it's, it's going to leave a spot of oil, which, you know, that's just the way it is, I guess. All right, so back to this saw here. Um, so what I did was I did some research and realized that I needed a saw with 3 8 pitch. And then uh, to get that 3 8 pitch, you have to step up to a pretty big saw. Now, this is an Echo CS620P. Um, they also make a 600. I think the CCs are the same. Maybe the 620 might be the newer model that's going to replace the 600. I, d I don't know. I'm really not that much into chainsaws. I'm just into liking stuff that works the way it's supposed to. Um, they did the next size up from this was like a 680. And I think that was a 66cc. And this, I think, is just 60. Um, I thought about that because the difference between this saw and that 66cc was only 50 bucks. And I was like, ah, uh, I don't know. And then I looked at some of the specs. I looked at the weight, and there's almost a pound difference between this one and that 680. And I'm like, I don't want a saw that's any heavier. So I'm like, I'm going to go with the small one. And I figured, well, if I really don't like this one, I can always step up to another saw next year and then just keep buying chainsaws because apparently that's what I do. Um, but the lowdown on this one... So Echo runs, uh, or certain dealerships run an Echo sale or get authorized through Echo that they can run a one-day sale where it's 20% off. And that only happens once a year. So I went back to the, the dealer that I bought the other saw from, the 500, and they said they weren't having it in the fall. They had it in the spring, and that's all they were authorized to do. But they, were, they told me they could probably work a deal just not as good as 20%. So I went to the Echo website, looked around, found a place that was about, I don't know, 35 minutes away. 
and they're running 20 percent they said hey i'm looking for this chainsaw 620 and they're like oh we don't have it we can get it in it'll be in in a day's time and uh went through all the paperwork out the door for this saw tax they didn't charge me for any type of setup the setup was included you know it didn't just come in a box they put the bar the chain on and they tuned it they tuned it um as they sent it out it was four 470 bucks out the door uh i didn't think that was that bad i want to say that 500 was almost close to that maybe that 500 was like 400 out the door i don't know i don't remember but anyway uh back to this saw here so um this here is metal i think the other one is too um the exhaust is a little different it's got two of these uh spikes on the front I don't know that I'd ever use those anyway, but um, the biggest thing is I wanted wanted the 3 ace pitch. Now, the chain I'm not impressed with because it's some sort of, uh, it's got that extra bump for like low kickback. And I know for a fact my cousin can make up 3 ace chain because he told me that. He's like, if you got 3 ace chain, I can make you up some that's not, uh, it's not low kickback. And that's the good stuff. That stuff really rips. So I may end up looking into that. Um, with the 24 inch bar, which is kind of long and I thought, well, I'd like the 20, maybe 24 would be better. Uh, it's definitely not balanced as well. It's definitely heavy towards the end. Um, the saw overall is much heavier than that 500. Um, it, you, there's a huge difference. I didn't weigh them out. I suppose I should. Um, it's still lighter though than the yellow saw. So that's good. Um, oh, and when you start this thing, run this thing, it feels more like a professional saw like everything about it the way it idles it's louder which you wouldn't think it would be but it is it's a lot louder and uh, i'll do a comparison between the three later in this uh, video here so um some of the features it's got the uh, toolless air uh, air filter or whatever cover so you can just take this off and it gets you right to your air filter which is there and then you can get to your spark plug and they give you like that spark plug wrench deal and uh, bar nut uh, tool with the screwdriver in um, but otherwise yeah it's basically like the other one you got a choke um, you got uh, the shut off switch and then uh, with the choke the way this one works at least the way it's set up in the carburetor once it starts running on choke when you push it in it goes into like a high idle and that's just till it warms up it does that um there is no like throttle lock where you can lock the throttle wide open um the old mcculloch has that that's that's the only saw i've ever seen that on um they, maybe they just don't do that anymore but uh i don't know what i got there we go uh the other thing i think they talked about this is one of the uh echo things is that the the tank is translucent so you can see where the fuel is um you, yeah yeah i guess you can kind of see it it's over here it's probably hard to see on camera um what else about this thing oh it has a decompression switch so you press that down uh, and then once it runs it'll pop out so it's supposed to aid in starting it because it could be kind of difficult to pull over i guess because of all the uh compression and then this side cover here that's also metal whereas the other one is plastic on that echo so but overall um if you were to price out saws which i didn't um, i just bought the echo saw because i knew they had that sale and it's a pretty good price um i'm Im imagine if you're looking at a, a steel uh, husqvarna or husqvarna however you say it um, or one of those two saws or if anything else is still out there that isn't owned by those two companies i don't know that you're going to even touch that price i'm thinking you're going to be looking at somewhere between six to eight hundred dollars for a saw like that from steel now maybe their prices have come down but i know that um when i talked to my cousin he was looking at some saws too and he said yeah steel husqvarna or husqvarna they're all pretty uh pretty expensive saws so and then the other reason that i leads me to believe that this is a professional saw it uh drips oil uh, out of the barn chain just like uh the old mac does so maybe that's a professional type deal your saw has to leak a little barn chain oil so uh, i haven't used it yet when i when i do uh, i'll obviously update you with a video or whatever 
um, let you know how it works out. It seems like it's nice, it runs nice, um, and that the price was right. That's the best thing. I saved uh, 120 bucks doing the 20% sale, I think, or 112. I know it was it was over 100 dollars with the 20%. So I was like, yeah, I'm doing that. So. All right, like I said, I'll do a comparison here of the saws running just so you can kind of hear how, how it is. So there it is. That gives you kind of an idea. Um, this is what they look like all together there. Uh, I did look into about getting a bigger bar for that old saw, but like I said, it's just heavy. Uh, you can still get them, and I think that saw can run up to a 24, 28 inch bar. Um, but it's just nice to have something newer that you don't have to like mess with the carb or you know worry about something dried out, and that's why it's not working. So. Yeah, if you got questions or anything like that, just let me know. Like I said, I I think Echo seems to be a pretty good brand based on their price. It's not like you're buying one of those uh, cheap saws from the department store that aren't going to last, especially when you get into the models where the department store doesn't handle them. Then you should be okay. But I know, uh, I think Home Depot carries some of the Echo stuff, but that's what they consider homeowner brand or whatever, not professional. So... I don't know. Kind of shop around. So there you go.